Troy, that big ass roach we saw in the banquet room, that, that was Bryson's shoes, bro. <laughs> I saved your shoe, nigga. I swear to God, nigga. Yeah, just you just gotta burn them when the roach that big get on them, huh? There, I hit that roach on the back. He still, he landed. Still survived. I said, bro, these roaches here. What's worse, roaches or rats? Rats. Rats. Bro, 100%. if I see a rat in the I don't know York about rats. that, gang. Them New York rats is crazy. No, New York rats are crazy. The way they multiply is crazy. But it's just like, I don't know. It's just something oh, about you, oh, roaches. Oh, it was a story. It was a story. No, no, Tyrese can vouch for this. It was a story. We may even say this for Cameron. Bro, it was a story. A lady fed one raccoon. The next night, 100 raccoons showed up to the house. Could you imagine? She said she looked out the window. She seen nothing but eyes. Pitch black dark. <laughs> Outside, oh, yeah. niggas. Tyrese, bro, me and Tyrese used to get in trouble, bro. We we let the trash out. My dad be, why y'all ain't let the trash out? It's trash all on the side of the house. Like, dad, I don't know. One night, I, I called Ty, nigga. I looked over the side window, nigga. It was a family of raccoons, like literally knocking over the trash can. Boom. Nigga had an over the hedge, like a over the hedge episode. Oh, damn, nigga, nigga, we, we was putting big ass cinder blocks on yeah. top of Tyrese trash was putting. We get the bricks that were on the flower bed. Boom. Boom. Different, different type of bricks, or <laughs> come back, them niggas be. Next day they come back and be like, who the hell put this big ass brick? They be mad. Smoking. I hear the grass move. I'm like, man, what's that? Bro, I look possum in the fucking bushes. I bro, I ran inside so fast, bro. Like I'll be outside on top of the morning. I feel like Tom Jordan morning show in here, man. Tom Jordan. Tom Jordan. Welcome to Ricky Smiley in the morning. Welcome to Ricky Smiley. Unless I think this is the earliest we've ever Switching been. Switching it here. up on y'all, man. Wanda. For real, for real. R.P. Wanda. R.P. Wanda. R.P. Wanda, yeah. R.P. Wanda. I remember I used to listen to the to radio show my dad every morning on the way to daycare. Man, bro. Tell He's him. the only funny one. Well, me and Troy, we didn't grow up out here, so the only thing I know her for is that Cat Williams interview. So, <laughs> think, I'm just saying, I, I didn't grow, I didn't grow up in... <laughs> It's just like I'll yeah, never Ricky go back Smiley and forth with a Ricky comment. Smiley, Ricky Smiley. It's Ricky, it's Ricky Smiley yeah. in Houston, bro. We didn't have Wanda, so... Mm. Ricky yeah. Smiley funny too. He just kind of more smooth. Jazz. I, I, I remember after going that Cat Williams joined. interview. I don't, I don't even look at Ricky the same no more. Cat said he he was willing to get raped by Damien in the bathroom. Cat <laughs> <laughs> said I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. I'm not hey, doing can that. You give Cat props. Cat spoke on a lot of shit. Man. Nah, that interview was crazy. That shit was. He yeah. said, yeah, it was a lot more supposed to happen in that bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> he said, I wasn't going. And he said he said, 2024 was going to be the year of the unavailing. We got to get ready for that, man. Y'all know we finna crank back up the interviews and everything. And then if some, what if somebody just want to come here and just clear the air out from the industry? We got to be ready for some shit like that. I'm, I'm going to be. Now, go ahead. The floor I'm is gonna yours. Be, I already knew. <laughs> Like, I already knew. It. Like, yeah, you just confirmed what we already thought this yeah. whole time. I was never going to no. What yeah. nigga said? I was never pulling up. Ice Cube said, "I was never going to no Mike Rubin party ever. <laughs> like, I never wanted." I'm gonna to be like D Rose, bro, in the crib, mm -hmm. giving back. All right, man. Top of the morning, early as hell, man. All in one, episode fifty-five. We are back. With the <laughs> Another episode for y'all. A banger. I am your co host, T Roy. Yes, really. With my other two yeah, co hosts, got my boy Tyrese in here, little bro. And my back, boy C D Or as well. Shout out our sponsors. Real busy, busy, busy traveling camera. And finally, man. Zamar has joined us back in the studio. Zamar has been about a month, man. So Welcome been, back, bro. He's been on a hiatus. He's been you know, on a hiatus. We've been working without a producer. Y'all ain't even know. We've been having to just work on the fly. He's been having to work outside. You and CJ, y'all been busy. Like, Damn, bro. Ain't fucking making no fucking moves, nigga. All right, man. Bring y'all the energy early as hell in the morning. Where we at with it? What y'all want to start off with today, but, uh, topic wise? Uh, sports, we jump right into it. Joker 2 flopped that box office. Bro, bro, nah. fucking, they bro, didn't flop at box office. Didn't flop, the movie it, was it, flopped. The movie was flopped when everybody heard it was a movie. They said, they, said they, they about to lose 200 million. It's a, it was a musical. It was trash. It was a musical, and then you hired Lady Gaga. Like, come on, bro. Nobody wants to go see a musical. Right. I, I ain't gonna lie. I was before I heard it was a musical. When I heard, when I heard it was Lady Gaga, and I didn't like truly like put it away. Cause if you watch American Horror Story, she played that role in American Horror Story, uh, the hotel one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. She played the fuck out of that role. No, in I'm hotel. not saying she's a bad actor, bro. I just knew once she was added to the movie, I knew it was gonna be some type yeah, of singing. Yeah, bro. I, don't, I don't know how you flop. 
after doing so good on the first movie. It's because, bro, his his mindset in in thinking that the music that was inside of the Joker, like, you know how the Joker walks? He yeah. was like, he wanted to express it. And I'm like, yeah, express it in murder or something. Yeah. Because they, they we don't like, want to see it. They said the movie is based off, like, what, like, how he's living in his head, but what he's going through in real life. Exactly. I don't want to see no. I don't want to see that bullshit. I don't. I want to see chaos. Whoa. Chaos, like, bro. Chaos. Like, Bring me to Batman. <laughs> like, come on. That nigga shot Robert De Niro. He's like, you get what you fucking deserve. <laughs> I, I was Y'all like, want to see this pencil oh. disappear? Like, oh, like what the fuck? Come on now. Remove I, your mask bro, by eight o'clock, or I'm Joker blowing the city. Joker two and up. Beetlejuice flopped that box up. They said Beetlejuice Terrifier. Flops. They said Terrifier three made more money than both of the movies in opening weekend. I'm gonna go yeah. see that shit tomorrow too. But y'all know that Terrifier three. Let's just show you what the world is at right now. <laughs> People, <laughs> I just show y'all. I what see y'all, some y'all literally just said it. Which y'all literally just said. I don't want to see that shit. I want to see some killing. Terrifier three nah, is that shit start is, to finish. That like shit is, that shit slaughterhouse, yeah. like yeah. slaughter yeah. game, like for real, for real. And it's crazy because the first Terrifier movie. Bro, the budget was only thirty five thousand dollars, and now like they making millions off the movie now. Like it's bro, don't say nothing. Now. They don't say nothing. Yeah, all you're doing is shooting see, clips of yeah. people dying. Yeah, he's you don't up. say nothing, and it's just people screaming all the time. Why are you doing this? He just yeah, that shit is, <laughs> that shit is creepy. I've been on TikTok like, what the yeah. fuck, bro? I'm not gonna lie. He need to see some young niggas with some switches. That's what he need to find. <laughs> That nigga, because that shit is creeping me the fuck out. I say he pulling I mean, up all these niggas I mean, with no I guns. Mean, I mean, now, now, we know, now we know he's some type of like evil spirit thing like he's not just human now. Oh, he's a demon. Bro, cuz he died in Terrifier 2, but somehow he got brought back to life in Terrifier 3. Oh my goodness. Bro, but I knew he was the real deal, bro, in the first Terrifier, bro, when he hung that bitch up, bro. And bro, when he cut her from bro, literally head to toe right down the middle with a saw, bro. And the they chainsaw. showed the whole thing. I was just like God, it's not really damn. scary. It's just more nasty. Yeah, it's not right? really scary. It's just like, body damn, like, like you got to get ready for it. I heard that Smile Two is good, so I'm gonna go see that next week. Uh, Smile like Two is gonna be good, and then uh, October Spooky 25th season. or 26th, you got uh, what? I can't think of a Venom coming out. Venom Part. Oh Venom. yeah, oh, it's Venom already out. It. They no it, 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 October. It, it's like it mid October. I thought. No, nah, not because I seen out. it. I was finna get tickets for it t- this morning. Damn, Bryson, can you confirm that? I I just know with this. I just know what this um, but this Venom movie they're introducing. I told you October twenty fifth. Yeah, yeah. Well, with no one CJ, so he probably got the early release showing. He probably got some. He got the. I yeah, yeah bro, come, come to the AMC showing October twentieth. We'll, we'll bring you in through the back. You're good. I could have sworn I seen a ticket this morning for it was fourteen bucks. I was they may release it early or some places a week early. You never I know. Bro. I can't wait. They're introducing Noel. And this yeah. and this um Venom movie that might be a good movie. It's sad to see where movies is going because they spending all these all this 200, 300, 400 million dollars on these producing these movies, that. and these shits be ass. And then they be mad at us when we don't Bro, go watch they, it. They they expect CGI to make up for bad writing and bad acting. It's just like no. I need you to get me into it. Pause. Yeah, that's why they said nineties. The nineties era was the best movie. But what y'all say is the scariest movie of all time in y'all opinion? The Strangers for me, the first one, oh eight. And I don't care what nobody feel. Like, I don't care what niggas say to me in the comments and nothing. The Strangers in 2008, when we watched that shit with Grandma in the house, nigga, I was terrified. Bro, my grandma didn't play that shit. Most religious woman, but she loves some scary movies, bro. Pitch oh, black, man. dark in the crib. <laughs> bro, the, bro, in the li- we got to watch it in the dark. living room. You don't even want to go to the bathroom across the hall. You like, bro, Yo. you can't even see the hallway, nigga. It's just <laughs> darkness. <laughs> she called to the abyss and see what's up. My grandma be at five o'clock in the morning. We had church, everything, lunch, every all by twelve o'clock. My my family they ain't like the new school uh the new school scary movies. We used to watch the old ones like the, the, man the children shit. meet the corn. No, the Candyman too new. You ever seen the children meet children the corn? Children meet the corn is crazy. Yeah, yeah. nigga, that about, shit is like ain't, some ain't, ain't old that when like school. the kids like they get like possessed, they start killing the parents yeah, in, the, in the town and they shit. Start tweaking. Yeah, but I ain't gonna lie, Tales of the Hood scared me as a kid. I never seen that. But that was funny as hell. I used to laugh. Bro, as a kid it. watching it, Tales of the Hood scared. Bro. Yeah, some of these scary movies be making me laugh too, like Michael Myers and Jason and shit. It's because like the shit just be so like bitch back get broke. It's like it's like what the fuck? It's like what the hell? I seen the meme. It was like Michael was at the top of the stairs. Jason was at the bottom of the stairs. And it was like a nigga like Chucky was like under the stairs. It was crazy. And it was like, which way are you going first? I'm sorry. I'm 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 whipping Chucky's ass. I'm sorry. (laughs) A dog? Yeah, like bro. What are you gonna do? This is real life. (laughs) I thought I I I'm sorry, bro. Get the fuck out of here. 
I feel I feel what Troy's saying though about the um the strangers though. That's scary though, because that really happened in real life. It's based on true events. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's mm. based on true events. Like everything. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, but th- this ain't this ain't no supernatural shit. Now. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre story is very vague. Oh, I ain't I, scared I, I, of that, Nick. Bro, like, bro, if we all go, really, if I'm here with bro, my friends. Bro, it really wasn't even like that, bro. Now, that family, they really was eating people, but he wasn't killing people and everything. I think he just killed his parents, and then that was it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. To me, I'm going to say the first Annabelle when it came out in 2014, bro. Seeing oh, that whole yeah. in theaters, bro. That was a good one. I ain't gonna lie too. When I first the went back, when I first went back and watched bro. it too, another true story movie, Amityville Horror. That shit, that the shit. The one with Ryan, uh, Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That well, shit. Uh, that Deadpool, nigga Ryan yeah. Reynolds played that role. I ain't gonna lie. That Paranormal nigga, Activity, that, the first one. That, 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 that was, shit had niggas scared, scared as fuck. They used to make niggas think that shit was real. It yeah. was just shit moving in the house. Yeah, that yeah. shit. <laughs> I still didn't understand like that whole time. Look, so like what, like the demon latched on to her when she was a kid and just followed her through whole, I, I don't shit, know, I just, I just didn't understand it. And then, then the haunted house came out with Marlon Williams in them, making fun of that. That shit was hilarious. Where all your furniture, cuz? <laughs> Bam! <laughs> oh, that shit just fell down. Keisha! Keisha! <laughs> this shit had all the fucking pots. I wanted to fuck Keisha. The ghost fucking Keisha. I didn't, I didn't know the Wayne brothers wrote the scary, like the, the two first scary movies. Yeah. I didn't know they wrote them. Yeah. Them, they, that, them, that's that every why three role. and four wasn't that funny. Yeah, that's what they said. They said they tried to they tried to keep it going, but it wasn't ever the same. Yeah. They didn't want to pay them they right paid. It's always like that, man. It's always like that. All right, man. Oh, uh, like I said, season, man. Uh, yeah. First, one of the first clips up before we get into football last night. I don't know if y'all seen Paul George hyperextended his knee. In a preseason matchup against the Atlanta Hawks, so that just looks. I'm talking so about he bad. already had one gruesome leg injury before. This is another one, so and I really hope bro gonna be okay. He was able to walk Can it we off. Get an HD yeah. image. He was able to walk he was off. Able to walk it off. Yeah, he was able to walk off and get off. Uh, I course. really want to see what he looked like with Embiid and Maxi. So come on, George. Maxi through. got paid. Embiid. I hope Embiid come back healthy because yeah, this is you don't Hyper need this extension. Stuff. He'll probably be out a month, two months. He'll be all right. Yeah. I saw I saw Lonzo was back in the lab. Up. Lonzo looking good, but they said they said this nigga. I called CJ. He's not he's not, gonna be able, <laughs> he's not gonna be able to play no back to back games. They said something like that. Like for Embiid, he can't play no back to back games. And Lonzo probably can't play no back to back games. All right, well then that's gonna hurt Embiid's case. Embiid's not never win another MVP. None of that. Ever you don't again. need to win another MVP, nigga. Just finish the season. Hell, yeah, just drop 30, 10, and eight yeah, every bro, game. Like just finish the season. I'm taking and you on this part. Like, it was the fact that bro, and B was really in the Olympics with that knee brace on, like playing through it. I'm like, bro, he had no business playing. I'm like, nigga, you barely so finished who, the regular who season. Who would have sent if MB didn't go? Somebody else. Who else would have been a big man? MB first off, you MB, already had Bam and AD out but there. But first off, MB already caught track because they was like, nigga, you're not even supposed to be playing for Team USA. He got booed by France. They, I feel like they thought he was supposed to be out there with him. And there was another team that was like he could have played with. It was two other t- countries he could have played oh with. God, Wimby and Embiid. That would have been. And Gobert. And Gobert. Oh, we're still not fucking with U.S. That would have been a big-ass lineup, though. We would have had to go tall. Pause. No, Curry shooting for 40 feet. Yeah, ain't nobody was guarding Curry yeah. in France. <laughs> nope. Nobody. Wimby at the three would have been crazy, though. That's <laughs> my team shit. Yeah. Niggas laying it up from the free throw. Nah, you can't afford that on my team unless you buy in DC. Uh, another note: Clay Thompson went um, debut with the um, Mavs. 0 for nine from the field goal. <laughs> 0 for six from the three point line last night. Damn. Hopefully he finds his stroke. You know it's preseason to bounce back. Damn. So we ain't really gonna dive really too far deep in basketball. You know basketball. Yeah, R.P. Bronny. Pre- it's in preseason. You know Bronny. Still finding his Man, way. We, we, get your we, shit together. We, we gonna get with y'all when the um in season tournament start. That because now now they made it interesting to where because I swear to God, Nick football needs. You already know you don't watch basketball until after All Star break. But with the, I don't uh, watch basketball already until I, April. I, at least I don't start watching until after All Star weekend. Nah, I know you bet the niggas. I was about to say day one, day one you basketball. So many be props watching that you can have. Boy, what I'm betting on rebounds here. I'm betting on this nigga rush yards. I'm betting on. I be yards. wanting to. I be wanting them niggas to really hoop. And I know when it comes close to playoff time, they really finna under. That's yeah. why you going under. Early. Yeah, I'm betting the under all season. I don't believe in under. none of you niggas. Yeah, yeah. under on Bronny. Please put that nigga. <laughs> Please put him on. <laughs> bro, this Please thing. put that nigga on his charts. Uh, bro, Bryson, you saw um your boy Darren Fox turn. He's turning down. Three years, one hundred sixty-five million extension. Says he want more. Singing ain't won nothing. 
He already they already gave him a super max though. Two hundred million. Eligible, but you would get L, I think you're eligible for two. You know, because a so new TV so deal came out. Hey, go get that money, son. It's one, hey, that's fifty five a year. We're not hanging down here. All said, one man. Go get again. that money, on. Three sixty five. Bryson, you better be five. right about that three hundred sixty five million. That nigga, that sound like a that lot. That sound nigga. about right. I mean, so, he, about I mean, seventy I mean, a year, bro. When um Mark Cuban did the interview with uh Club Shasha, he said, "Bro, we about to start seeing deals go up to four or five hundred million in the next like five to seven years." He said, "Pretty soon, it's gonna be a billion dollar player in the NBA. Like it's gonna he's gonna get that billion." I dollar think Tatum contract. will be the first billion dollar. Tatum, player. Jason Tatum. He's already signed for a three hundred million dollar. Tyrese, I'm being. Wimby dentist. might get. They might get that shit to like Wimby or Luca. Oh, Luca might get it. Luca Tatum second just signed for three hundred thirty-four million. It's gonna be somebody international or yo shit. Jokic's next deal is gonna be fucking yeah. insane. Jokic's next con. Yeah. Jokic and Luca, them they don't be. Ants next deal. How, did Ant just signed? Yeah, what Ant signed for what two fifty right? Or like two thirty or something like that. Y'all, all the big deals gonna be. Oh. I see you. You see, he taking little baby. Uh. X to court to see if his child, see if that child really his. Mm-hmm. It's just a little side type of head, yeah. Going to court. Hey, and man, be going like, wild. Old kids in like the same year. Do some crazy shit. Yeah. Yeah. That nigga out here. That nigga out here. Turn. Living. Younger, younger turn. turn. Rich. Hey, man, at least he ain't like a, that boy Zion. Yeah, right. man. At least he's not like, out here like Gucci <laughs> third leg, giving out herpes, man. Hey, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I don't even know who that about? is. I don't even know who that is. Anyway, hey. Jump in the NFL, man. Bryson, though. Top of the topics. Top of the top topics, man. Dallas Cowboys. Disappointed. They shit at the bed this week. Lost. Peter Roll. Yeah, definitely Peter Roll. Belt. Oh, Detroit Jerry's what? 82nd, Belt. 83rd birthday? Belt. Jerry's worst loss since he's been the Cowboys owner. Like, literally, his worst loss. Talk so. about y'all did a lot in free agency. Yeah, yeah. Y'all did a lot. They ain't that that shit. offense is nothing but Dak and CD Lamb. Like that's literally their whole offense. They have no run game. You let Kellen no, no Kellen Moore. You let him go be no the OC for Philly. Just, you let Dan him. Quinn go to Washington. And you stuck with Mike McCarthy, who need to be fired. Yeah. I'm just saying, bro. Trayvon, that boy was a five piece combo all night. Yeah, Boss. hang on, lie. Jameson Williams and creating separation all night on him. Detroit really played with them niggas. They had linemen running routes, catching touchdowns. I saw that shit, Yo, bro. we was, was in like, our bag. Yo. That's pure hate. We don't fuck with them niggas. We. It's pure hate. Yeah. From Detroit. <laughs> this nigga is finally claiming Michigan. Bro. What do you mean? Uh, <laughs> what, y'all been getting on me shit? for two we. years about this shit. Now we now we start putting belt. We. Now, now I'm not. Now I'm not. You've been saying that Flint, Michigan re- for two years. That now, was big. Now you just that forgot. That was big for the Lions. They hadn't beat the Cowboys since 2012, 2013. And that was a rematch of last year after the Cowboys had beat them. So they got their revenge game. And my nigga Brian Branch at linebacker, that nigga the Honey Badger, picked off my boy Dak. He was roaming around the field just doing whatever the fuck he wanted. Hey, five yeah, five yeah. tackles, two interceptions. Hey, man. And then Aiden Hutchinson, though, bro. God, that's, Oh, yeah. That, that injury, big Hutch, man. We hope he get well soon. Yeah, I mean, His we leg. didn't have to have the starters in that long. We was up 30. But um, you feel me? We just really wanted to apply that belt. You feel but me? How you starters feel about in the fourth quarter. Out though now, like that's a key. That's what I mean. Like we didn't best, have to, we didn't have to have best defensive player. We didn't have to have the starters in, you know. But I, we I wanted to put that belt. Third quarter. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, we was up thirty at half. Really. Well, you're not gonna take the starters out. Like you still gotta yeah. make sure. Like it's the NFL. Still niggas still come back. Niggas came back. Bro, the nigga leg really, really went like like this. Was it man. worse than the Louisville injury in your eyes? Fuck no. You talking about Detroit? Uh, there, there, talking there, about uh, Kevin nothing, Ware? There's nothing worse nah, Kevin than Ware your wild. fucking meat paws hanging off the bone on your leg on national when television. Come out the skin like that, nah, you could see his bone. That's what yeah, was crazy. Yeah, like that. Like, that's you what, could see the snap. Yeah, like no more skin, no more thigh, no more bone marrow, no more muscle tissue. Yeah, like all them layers is gone. <laughs> This is this is but straight no, no, no. Don't 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 get it twisted though. Hayden shit was just it was just hanging, bro. Like it didn't it didn't look good. You know what's crazy? His, his teammate ran into him. His teammate snapped his fucking leg. You go back and look at it. They slowed it down. His teammate ran into it him. Just like fucking Mahomes. He bro, fucking it, exactly. Mahomes what ran into Rasheed Rice. Year, bro? And fucking knee and blew. Mahomes was trying to tackle. And I'm talking about he blew that nigga Rasheed Rice knee all the way out, Paul. Like I'm talking about dove straight. He did. Nigga, knee went like this. Bro, I was like, like yo. I don't know what's going on with the league this year. The injuries are they, they bad this year, man. 
Oh, you had a Joker hoodie on? Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Flop. With the hip drop tackle and everything. Like, this is the Mark Hamlin Joker, though. This is the mm. best animation Joker. I mean, I mean bro. Got a podcast. Nigga didn't play. It's, it's, it's like this. It, it's like this. We in the time period now where these athletes, they are doing a way other shit outside of just They going to have their own platform the on the side, yeah. I'm say, wasn't nobody saying, yeah, bro. I mean, it's just like Travis Hunt, win, lose, the draw. He's still going to get on Twitch and stream. That's college, though. I feel, Bryson, this is the NFL, and Malik Hooker already called Michael out last year about that podcast shit. Y'all niggas not winning games and everything. Bro, you need to sit the fuck down somewhere. Maybe, maybe he sees himself as a future You analyst. know who else got a podcast? Travis Kelsey and Jason Kelsey. New Heist podcast. I don't see Travis Kelsey going live every week. You know why? Because mm. he's chasing the fucking third Super Bowl championship ring. Mm. That's what I'm saying. They do their podcast at different times. He's like having they, a slow start this year. Don Gamongo. They're having a slow start, but they're still under. No, no, he's having yeah, he a slow having start. Yeah, he's having a slow start. The Chiefs are still finding I mean, a way to win. I mean, he's 35 and he's won three Super Bowl rings, and you dating a woman that's a billionaire. Like, I see what you're I would saying. Be having a slow you're talking start. about the mindset. The you're talking mindset. about the mindset. Is he in the winning mindset? Yeah. Is bro. he out there really putting it all in the line for football, or is he I mean, half in, he, half and out? And he ain't gotten paid yet either, though. I, Oh, Mike is next. Well, up. he was a strong advocate on his podcast saying Dak and CD was going to yeah, get paid. Definitely, but I'm just saying, like, that's he was the last one that. drafted. So he, yeah, nigga, fall in line. It, this shit happened. Z got paid first. Zach, I mean, Dak finally got paid after all. Of, he got that 75 mil for that upfront year one year, but he finally mm-hmm. got the, his due, due diligence, like being the highest paid quarterback. And CD got paid. So, I mean, shit, it ain't no excuse, but you can pay it all them niggas. Ain't nobody left really on Dallas. Ain't no other receiver to throw to. Brandon Cooks is hurt. You know, that nigga who caught that game winning against Pittsburgh. Like, yeah, you're going to be middle of the pack teams like Pittsburgh. But a team like Detroit and everything, them niggas is like in front runners to be in damn near in the playoffs and Super Bowl this year. Like, they not going with that shit. Like, when they had to play Baltimore and Detroit team, them niggas is moving grown men against, you know, really moving men against their own will. Like, Rolling that's how shit. Detroit and Baltimore been playing. Like Physical. Physical. You niggas Physical weak. football. Like, Get I don't want to see room. all that passing shit, bro, and everything. Like, that shit only goes so far. Like, that shit that Derrick Henry doing, they finally listen to fucking Shannon Sharp putting that nigga in the eye and, like, really running over people. Detroit, that two-headed monster, Montgomery and Gibbs, they call themselves Sonic and Knuckles. <laughs> That's crazy. Sonic and Knuckles. That's what they I got both them niggas on my fancy team. One, them niggas punch. doing numbers, bro. Like, and then you got Amon St. Brown. Jameson William and Laporte. Like, bro, Detroit, they scary, bro. They gonna be for real. And and, and, and golf throwing and, that and, bitch. And they got a coach that they believe in. That's Lasers bro, that's, that's And he really, dialing shit up. The offensive coordinator Dan, dialing shit up. Dan get, he really I think Dan, that shit around Dan years, really bro. get niggas to play. First it, off, he plays is he for the organization. Coach of the year? You got him coach of the year right now? It's kind of early. But um just let's wait and see. Cause right now, I'm talking about right now is an early candidate or Dan or Dan, Dan Quinn. Quinn. I was gonna say Dan, Dan Quinn. Quinn for the Commanders. Like he didn't turn that whole franchise around, and you got a fucking rookie quarterback. So yeah. it's like I watched that Baltimore game. They made a couple of errors, but Jaden Jay played a perfect bro. game. That was probably his best game. That, that deep throw he did to Terry McLean to the outside, I was just bucket. Like, oh my. Yeah, blur. Bro, I'm talking about blur. dropped it in the bucket. Okay, you got to take in consideration. Caleb Williams starting the ball. He just had a one twenty four. Passer rating this past weekend. No That's the toughest division nice. in football right now. Two touchdowns, like 250 yards. He had a good is the now. is the race for rookie of the year starting to get more interesting now? Because nah, for Jayden like, the, for like the last three weeks, Jayden it was clear cut. Jaden. Jaden is leading, but yes. Caleb is like you know he'll he'll start finding his way along. They said Caleb and Kenny Allen's starting to play more too. So Caleb is boss. He gonna get there, but Chicago is four and two right now, just like Commanders are four and two. And Chicago, I ain't going to lie, though. The thing about them is they're in a tougher division than the command. The commanders are in a tough division, too, with the Eagles and Cowboys. But the Cowboys don't look too promising right now. The Eagles are wishy-washy with injuries right now. So you got to see. But the division with the Bears, the Bears are 4-2. and two. The Packers, 4-2. and two. The yeah. Vikings, undefeated. That's a, damn, that, 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 that man is the hardest division in football Who else right is in now? there? Vikings, Bears, Lions, and there's one more team. Okay, so the Vikings are undefeated. The Bears are four and two. Bears are four and two. The Packers are four and two. And the Vikings are four and two. You said Vikings twice. Well, that's just I'm trying to say all three teams are four and two, and it's the Vikings four teams are in the division though. The Vikings are undefeated. Bears are four and two. Packers are four and two, and the Lions are five and one or four and one. Four and one, yeah. Vikings are five and zero. Oh. That's what I'm. I'm sorry about that, y'all. 
Sorry for the confusion. The Vikings are leading the division undefeated, but we still talking about the Lions. You see what I'm saying? And then you got four and two, four and two from Green Bay and, and uh Chicago. So now the Vikings who we want. We want their shit, head. Like, it, that whole division. Um, has it been done the whole division? Three teams have made it to the playoffs from one division, but not 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 uh four. Not the whole four. No. Somebody's not gonna make it. How the fuck the Saints scored twenty seven points in one quarter and then don't score for the rest of the game? <laughs> That's How you Falcon get three shit. interceptions in the first half and don't win the game? I don't know. No, I've never seen Falcons, it. I know I said that's the Saints some and the Bucks. Shit. And then that, that that was the craziest game on Sunday, yeah, bro. And the Bucks to still put up to throw three <laughs> interceptions and still put up 51 points, bro. Like gang, gang. it was it was 31 to 27 in the third quarter. I look up, like Joyce said, it's 51 to 20. I was like, bro, when did they score 20 more points? Was that Baker? <laughs> Baker like, just hopped in that bag. Finally, <laughs> niggas, he got his bag. He's ball. Mike they, Evans, first battle Hall of Fame. They played Spencer Rattler, though, man. He it was his first uh career start. He didn't do bad. He, was, he, he game managed. That first he game managed. He did what he's supposed to do, but I mean shit. That's a tough division. NFC South. Which the Falcons are leading that division. But Yeah, man. Shout out to the A, man. You know, we, the we, we live out here, thing. so we respect it. We respect it. The city gonna be turned. They say this is one of the hardest uh stadiums. Really? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it do be loud in there. Oh, We'd have been in there. It'd have been loud. The fans is right behind the Falcons. Not yet. When we get that, when we get to that left <laughs> to right, that bitch get to rocking. No facts. Facts. We are gonna see. Kirk better not choke for the A, bro. That's gonna kill us. Kirk we can't play. go through another letdown like that, bro. Matt, I'm just saying, the city ha- is known to like get far. The city get behind them. Everybody get lit. Matt Ryan, 23, 23. What was the score? 27 to 3. 28 to 3. 28 to 3 comeback. Like the Hawks uh, make it to conference finals. Braun comes to town. Like, no, that, that ain't gonna like lie. That. What LeBron did to y'all, what LeBron did to the Hawks, I know we're gonna go back to football real quick, but what LeBron did to the Hawks when we first moved out here in 20, bro. Y'all was talking. Niggas was undefeated. Number one in the East. Nigga, LeBron came down. No, Jeff T talks about it on Club 520 that's podcast. Push, that's why he pushed that nigga out if of If you've seen the 520, Club 520 podcast episode, he talks about it. LeBron told them niggas after All-Star break that year, he said, I got y'all figured out. Don't even worry about it. Came into town, swept them niggas. He told them niggas that at All-Star break because the whole starting five was in the All-Star team that year. The fuck do you mean y'all old? Y'all... Kyle Corbin was that thing. Later Kyle Corbin went on and won a ring with LeBron later on in his career. He won a ring with LeBron. That yeah, no, that was the best chance we had. No, nah, Kyle Corbin was on that. That he wasn't on that that Cavs damn, team. Damn, he 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 joined. He did end up playing with him, but I don't think he was on that twenty. Hold on, he, was he on it? He went on that twenty six. Hold on, I'm finna pull it's it up. crazy. What's crazy now is I'll be recording Kyle Corbin and Paul Millsap at, the, at the gym. Oh yeah, yeah. That is crazy, Paul bro. That, that shit bag. really broke up that that Hawks team too. Millsap, yeah, Brown broke them up. Millsap, Horford, they all went. Yeah, now, 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 Al Horford is still is still playing at the elite level. They were veterans. For his age. He was already, he already had a track record. They were veterans at the time. I feel like they were league veterans at the time. I don't think they were old. They were veterans. Yeah, they was all veterans. It's like I'm about to say Millsap. Like Millsap was now. still Millsap was still a solid player at that time too. They were still top yeah. fifty players in the league at the time, though. It's crazy. It's crazy how you say 32, 33. No, Tyrese, is Tyrese old. right. He was not on that team in uh twenty uh twenty sixteen. Yeah, he was know. he, he was on the team in twenty sixteen. I came, think he joined. The, he like, came the following yeah, year. After that might have been just been the push they needed. Mm-hmm. Damn, bro, they he never a won a ring, bro. That's fucked up. Shit, was he a top seven? I'm getting that nigga confused. Time, though. Though. Matt Dillon, no. Hell you yeah, could, you could argue that seven. Like you. <laughs> yeah, see, see, yeah, don't, don't, man. don't shit. You're off. We could definitely go to the park today. <laughs> yeah. My boots yeah. are laced. Yeah, yeah. Working all right. But yeah, but I, this NFL season, it, it has been. Yo, Bills know, won. They, they pulled it out, Pauls, last night against the Jets. They were able to get an escape yeah, in New York. Glad to see a win. Nigga, nigga, you know, last nigga. week we was watching that y'all Ravens was game. Weeks, you was sick. Was two weeks back to back. We was watching that, that Ravens two, game two at the bar. That was that was two weeks ago. Bro. Oh yeah, that yeah. was two weeks ago. They lost Damn. to the Ravens, and then who else y'all lost to after that? 
We lost to um Texans. We came back. We came back. We came back down 17 Yeah, no. Shout out to, to Stephon Diggs. We needed that revenge game, man. He didn't do shit. He only what had you 64 mean? yards. He had like 10, nine, 10 catches. Nigga had six catches for 64 yards. Shit. I believe. I thought he had nine. I think he did have like 64 He had like nine. I, I think thought. he had like 64 yards. If I'm not mistaken. Okay, nine catches for 64 yards. That's, I mean, it's not bad. And Stephon, you still my favorite receiver, but you 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 left you left my boy Josh just throwing the fucking running backs now. That's all that's all no, we got. He, Josh should have thought about that. He had six for eighty two. That game. Oh, that's pretty Okay, good. okay, so six catches for eighty two. I, I might say I, I know the nigga didn't have no damn nine catches he, though. He yeah, that's, too. that's dog shit. I had yeah. nine catches on you. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I got Cam Akers had nine carries for forty two yards. That's, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Okay. I thought I thought I got the stats messed up. Yeah, 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 y'all, y'all work with us, bro. We ain't never shot this early, bro. We, we it's a little early, my bad. But um, we're trying we trying to never get this out to y'all early. before first take. We didn't shot this late, damn near. We should be going live. We didn't shot nightcap hours. We didn't shot first take hours. Like nigga, we be and up. Yeah, we didn't shot lunchtime. Hours. Lunchtime. Mid, pardon the interruption. Yeah, rush hour hours. Yeah. <laughs> rush hour hour. All different times. And we're we're bringing it to you on the library. Oh, uh, what's another team that's really shocked y'all though in the NFL right now? That y'all didn't really think would be where they at right now. Besides, I mean, Minnesota. The Vikings. The Vikings, yeah. Oh, I was about to say. The Minnesota. Bengals. The Bengals is a good one. Bro, for Joe Burrow to be first and damn near everything statistically a quarterback it's can be first in. Two or Troy, three? Troy, the niggas first. No, I know. Jamar oh, Chase oh, been three. Oh, yeah. yeah. Jamar yeah. Chase been snapping and, and, too. And, and, bro, he want that bag. That's he want that bro, bag. Pay that man. Troy. They, 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 they going to lose even T. Higgins or Jamar, though, bro. I feel like I have to... After this season, I don't see both of them niggas. No, they gotta, the boy right, they gonna crazy. keep both of them. It's just, you gotta keep both of them. If you let fucking the Joe th- Mixon go. The only thing I say that's you let Joe Mixon go, and you know he was the leading rusher until he got hurt. All hundred like thirty four all purpose yards this past Sunday. Yeah. Niggas been that balling. was his first game back. Tyrese. Exactly because he was out with a hip drop tackle on the ankle, and everything. He was leading leading rushing until that happened. But um, yeah, the Bengals. It's not the offense that I'm worried about with the Bengals. The Bengals, the they're, they're going down and scoring. It's the defense, yeah. And I really blame that on them letting players that, that like. back four is shit. When you let players like uh, who plays for the Falcons now, uh, Jesse, number three. Jesse Bates. Jesse Bates. You let him walk a couple Arguably years ago. free safety in That nigga is the best safety in the league right or, now. Damn until Derwin James get back. You know, uh, you know he's Trey Hen- right Trey Hen- now. Yeah, but he's what, PEDs? He- Derwin, I love you, but you, sh- you know what I'm saying? Whatever you was on. It is what it is, but yeah, man. Oh no! Right now, the Bengals they got a lot of soul searching to do because they in that tough divi- that division was tough last year. But I'm not worried about Cleveland. Deshaun Watson, he can't. I can throw more than Deshaun Watson right now. Being real with you, shit, we can both throw for the same amount of it's yards. It's time to enter the greatest college quarterback of all. They talking about I don't know what's the fancy gonna put Jameis in. Like he needs some massages. It's it's time to put in the greatest Bro, college quarterback of all time. Jameis, argue with your mama. Jameis gonna. He gonna throw more picks than Deshaun. Hey man, he look, might throw he might throw three picks, but he gonna come out there four hundred yards, four touchdowns. Yeah, well, I can't I can't keep seeing nigga, a quarterback throw for 60, 80 yards a game. Yeah, bro, Deshaun, like, that's terrible. Uh, Justin Fields too, bro. Like, okay, like Pittsburgh, y'all doing what y'all doing, but like, bro, eventually you gonna have to throw the ball, bro. His receivers not getting open though, Troy. P- I just seen Pickens open a couple of times, and Pickens be like, he, they be upset, you know what I'm I saying? I seen Pickens drop a couple of passes too, though. Yeah, but you know, got to get more with throwing the ball, man. Like I don't know if it's Russell is going to be better for them for that option, but that's something they need to look into. Najee man. Harris is arguably having probably his best year right now as well. He having a solid rushing year right now. He came off a big game this past Sunday. Yeah, but the Raiders. I mean, I want to um. I don't know. Pittsburgh would need somebody. Speaking of the Raiders, they need somebody like Devontae Adams, somebody else on the other side of Pickens to alleviate the pressure. Fuck, he's not going there, bro. Shit, I don't he think he's going to, come to Buffalo. Come New to York, Buffalo. Or it was New York or the Saints, but they have uh, terrible records too and everything. I just so, don't see how it would work. Go to back real quick, y'all. I just don't see how it would work with the Jets because you have Alan Lazard, Garrett Wilson, and you have Mike Williams that's still waiting to come off injury. So I just don't see. Bro, so who who are you gonna get rid of? All three of them people I just named are outside receivers. That I mean, you could probably put Garrett in the slot, but I don't know, bro. Garrett Wilson in the slot? Yeah. I mean, yeah. We'll see what they that, budget that, talking that about. That nigga is an outside man. I can't believe this nigga just got up and just go take a piss mid show. I'm talking about that shit loud as hell, yeah, too. Yeah, loud as fuck. Man. Super, super pissed. 
Yeah, bro. But I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I do want to go to Falcons game though before the year up though. Let's do it. Let's get a box. Let's split it, nigga. The box is sold up at Ben Stadium for like the next three seasons. Yeah, bro. That shit, bro. Pull it. I'm t- unless unless you a nigga with status or money. I know but, somebody but, who but, got box seats. And but we just a regular nigga like me and you, we just gotta buy it off a nigga. We need forty five hundred. No, twelve fifty. <laughs> 1250. <laughs> that nigga said no. 1250. We gotta let we gotta let CJ go in there and negotiate the price, bro. Definitely. Definitely. I know you're trying to hit me over here. You're trying to hit your profit. Yeah. The first price a nigga say is already too high. Yeah. No. Damn. No, no. I was just well, first I was talking to him about like how you said Devontae has to go to the New York. I just don't see what they wide receiver scenario. But now I was just telling him how I do want to go to Falcons game for the year is uh he like, let's get a box. And then we was just talking about like, oh what they be charging for box seats and all that shit. But. We're gonna get a box, uh, I know for my birthday for the uh, Hawks. So that's gonna be lit. I That's wanted to say all for you that, eat, all you, for, drink. you know what I'm saying. But yeah. they be having bullshit in there, like wings and wings. I mean, and bro, things. I don't know. Like, I really want us everybody to dress up. You know, us to go to like a cigar lounge first, and then go to the game and that shit. But if I got to do it separate days, I do it separate days. <laughs> Cause he's right, bro. That food ain't all that. What at State Farm Arena? Yeah, that shit, that. shit. Not for the box wise. It's, it's more box. like like buffet, like Golden Corral. It's type. like yeah, meatballs and shit, egg roll. Oh no, nah. yeah, I, fruit he ain't plate. Here. Nah, just get just, just just keep bringing the margaritas. <laughs> we go to Chops Lobster Bar. Yeah, bring out the the lobster mac that feed the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one check only. I mean, we call a little alley steakhouse for Tyree's birthday. <laughs> that shit was funny. As fuck. For yeah, bro, I, I caught that shit. I was just like, yeah. I was like, how much? How much? I was like, how many would it be for like a party of like twenty and everything? It was like, it was like, well, yes, sir. Um, you have to request a private. You have to room. request a private diner, and minimum starting off at two thousand dollars for that many people, and it's one check, automatic tweet. I was like, yeah, thank you for everything. <laughs> I appreciate. Yes. Appreciate. We call you right back. Sorry for wasting your time. <laughs> yeah, no, I I didn't say call you back. I, yeah, I thank you for everything. Thank have you for the nice opportunity. Day. Yeah, I appreciate you what talking it? to me. Went, went to Maggiano's in Buckhead. <laughs> That's how, we, a, that's how we're doing you. Yeah. That's how we're doing you. First, all in one check. We're just giving you the bill. Like they give no, you no, the no, no, no. That's no, how we no. going to do the rookie. Yeah, that's no, how we're no. doing Bryce. They're doing Bryce. Like that first big check when everybody split their shit. All right, yeah, Bryce. You taking Bryce us out to eat. Yeah. Here you go. Frankie's. Pull out the Amex. Pull out the Amex. <laughs> Two lamb chop platters. $90. That's what we need. We need the Amex. We need the all in one Amex. <laughs> we need the all in one Amex. I'm going to get a, we're going to get a call from Bryson. You niggas, you niggas rent Lambos in Miami <laughs> on the all in one Amex. What are y'all doing? We can't even afford this shit. Where are y'all getting this Bryson money from? looking at the budget. I need to see him. Y'all, we got to talk about this. Tyrese is in Bali. You know, he got Tyrese is in DR. He's been there for three weeks. He's supposed to come back last week. <laughs> I think he's kidnapped. He, he, he's only texting us on WhatsApp. <laughs> I'm only texting on the WhatsApp. I didn't believe my number, my social security. Hey, Bryson, we gotta talk about this budget. Bryson gonna buy an at home gym for 1.2. No. Nah. I mean, that's a lot. It is a lot. 1.2 million. And then go ahead and Nike complex at the crib talking about some, I at least I ain't buy a car. I could just really see Bryson in the league, though, bro. They hit that nigga with a check, the food tab. Because we're not going. I know us, but I could see Bryson. They give you $38,000 check. It's on you, bud. It's on you, Rook. Because I'm, I'm really Bryson, looking I at know this. you're going. I bro, know you're what going. what restaurants do they Everybody going just get to, up, bro? And Tyrese, they get, they, I know they just be greedy, When you bro. get in the top of the line liquor, the, the, the 42, and y'all no, all had 30 shots. <laughs> not 42. They're going in that bitch ordering Riel. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hold your real 1300 a bottle. Oh my god, <laughs> Casa Azul. <laughs> yeah, not Azul. Nah, that's too low. What's the other one? Um, it's one above that. He said, No, that's too Louis, low. The yeah. Louis the 13th. Like, come on, like they drinking, um, uh, like a uh, wine, the uh, Hennessy, uh, Cavassier, the two thousand dollars, bro. Like, <laughs> Bru- Bruel, like, shit like that. Like, um, you, 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 Silver Oak. <laughs> I ain't Niggas coming out there with wine bottles like that. No, that shit we seen in Vegas, though. That bucket. When I seen that, that, what was it? Four Red Bulls for seventy five dollars, bro. That was the ultimate. Four Red Bulls for seventy five. Nah, yeah, we was in Vegas getting hit. Pause. Like, I'm not even gonna hit. lie. Like, nah, we, huh? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. I this, was, this was a viral like tab. Like it wasn't us, our tab. No, nigga, no. Oh, we he's was, talking about that place in Vegas. And yeah, the bill was like everywhere we went in Vegas. I was drinking for free like in Vegas. Everywhere we was, we was drinking for free, except for because uh, in the casino you drink for free. So I'm in there. Let me get a nineteen. Yeah, you got a nigga who can stay on the table for a few hours. Yeah, 
Bro. Them niggas wanted to leave. I'm like, leave for what? I'm getting a massage. I got Tyrus, I got the bartender seven bringing me free drinks. Don Julio Reposado, 42 shots. Bro. Nah, I was downing the bitches. I'm not going to lie. Troy, wasn't I duffing the bitches? No, so I thought something was wrong with... No, <laughs> no, Tyrese, y'all, we really had to leave that nigga, bro. Like, we was like, all right, bro, we've been here three hours. It's one in the morning. I'm off 10 shots. I'm up $800. He's like, yeah, bro, y'all go. I'll catch up with y'all later. That nigga had me walking around with Miles for like two hours in vain. Sick Miles. Tyrese should have came, man. Sick Miles. Oh. Nah, that money shit is different though. Them niggas just be blowing that bag. Pause. I already know that shit different it, on the it, West Coast. It's this dude on YouTube. He just he just <laughs> got a first class fight to all seven continents and ate at a Michelin star restaurant on every continent. And that's the YouTube video. 30 minutes. Boom. 10 million views. Nigga, how much was that? He he outlined the price, but I don't know what the total price was. But each flight, like to each continent, it was different. And he was rating them. He was like, Yeah, Emirates probably has the best first class flight. Let's try. Let's try a Singapore first class airlines. Then he went to China and did it there. Then he had he was on a uh, African airline. Then he came to America, did it with Delta. And then each one he getting he getting pajamas. They're making his bed. He's getting the Michelin star. I'm glad star to talk plate. about that. I'm glad to talk about that. Speaking of flights, let's talk about how with the sport athletes talking about it. And y'all brought up how Michael Parsons was talking about. Michael Parsons recently talked about it and said um, that the NFL plane flights compared to the NBA flights. They are terrible. They're like economy, like flights, like, <laughs> like when me and you fly in, like you, you just tore your ACL and you got to get on the plane like this. I know. And it was like this. the lineman, the lineman, like if there's a big lineman, they take up like you got half of the middle seat, I got half of the middle seat. You know what I'm saying? Say it's like me and like Jalen Carter for the Eagles. You in the middle? They got I'm these niggas the, on a Boeing, on no, a little on ass a Boeing. Little ass he said, bro, there ain't no stretch out. He said, bro, you can't even stretch out. You literally just sit. Are we up talking like about this. the Cowboys too? Bro, this is the, what the the riches? Jerry Jerry flying down the motherfucking helicopter. Seven twenty seven. Just, just landed the helicopter on the practice field. But they said it's all the NFL. He did though. what? Most of the NFL like this. It's like it's like two three years ago. He landed like mid practice. A in. jet or a helicopter? A helicopter. Oh, I was about no. When, when you first, I thought you said a jet. I was about to be like that is different. <laughs> you land a PJ? I mean, shit. Oh no, shit. Yeah, I mean, he, helicopter he the in the middle field. of the field is still crazy. Like, nah, yeah, that's money. But like, it's like you get a, a a jet to land. Like you got to get clearance from. <laughs> fucking all the niggas around in the airspace the and all the <laughs> like, And how do you even land that bitch? Where's the strip? Like no stretch out room though. Like really, to really lay down. But no, that's I, crazy I, though to be getting gotta, paid as much. To, uh, it's more football players. Like certain flights, you can't bring shit because they talking about the space on the plane. Mean? What do you mean? They said the space on the plane. They say they're it's on a little ass plane. They say they're on a little ass plane. They big ass lime and the big ass players. They're on a spirit flight versus a delta plane. Because you can't, you can't have them come. Because they go to sleep. You don't want to mess up their schedule for the next day. Well, if you fly what? back the same night you play, Bryce, I don't. If you fly back the same night you play, you don't play another game for six weeks. This ain't the NBA. That, yeah. We not playing every other night. We playing six days from now. You feel me? Four or five days from now. Well, what, so, yeah, they fly out what I was days. saying nah, is though, like that the owner, saying that the, the owner trying to have excuses for the cheapness. <laughs> Hell nah, nigga. We need bigger seats. You talking about you don't want us to go to sleep. What? No, nigga. Me and this 600-pound lineman should not be elbow to elbow on this fucking Yeah, plane. but we already know that NBA money different, bro. So even even that, it's, UGA. It's, UGA, it's, them niggas be flying. It's yeah. 53 men on a roster, not including oh, coaches. Yeah. Damn. So the coaches and shit be in first class. That's what he was saying. Oh. All that. They got most of the first part of playing. Then you get to the back of playing. That's where all the players and shit be at. But it's just sad to see. Like, damn, bro, I thought they would have been flying top of the top plane. They got planes you can put fucking cars on and shit. No, it's only 12 niggas on the fucking team I would, in the I would NBA. Assume, Everybody's getting good seats. I would assume like as rich... Seats, you're getting a whole row. Bro, exactly. I would assume as rich as the NFL is that every team will have their own private plane, right? And most of these planes out here now, like the Boeing, these niggas, are, this shit is two stories. It's That's a two story plane. It's an upstairs and a downstairs. It's a it's a Wait, lower. Right? Yeah, maybe upstairs and downstairs. Like, on, like, that's what I'm saying. When you get some on of these plane, planes, care- thing is a two story plane. It's yeah. planes, so some that planes can care- you get on. You be on the regular part of the plane. It's a nigga above you, first class, laying down, watching TV. Yeah, well, why the fuck? I never see the stairs. <laughs> you come in on a different part of the plane. Yeah. yeah, this is a different tax bracket, son. Walk your ass down that aisle right there. Facts. It's 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 different though, bro. On them um, football games, like I know, 
after a long ass game, you done been tackled, bruised. Them niggas is big nears. Yeah, why don't them niggas have two big story as frame, hell. bro? I want to go yeah. lay it down and stretch out. Literally, nah, and, I seen a nigga on Jerry YouTube worth like eight, what eight, ten million. Like, Jerry, you can buy a couple of planes if you wanted to. Yeah. Uh, we have not touched on college football. Very interesting week in college football that we have missed. You know, over the past couple of weeks, you know, that's been going on unfolding. Um, Ohio State they fell to uh, Oregon. Mm. In the top week, <clears throat> they ended up losing. Uh, Ole Miss lost to LSU. Clemson, I mean, not Clemson. Clemson did beat Wake Forest. They number 10. They in the top 10. Um, South Carolina, Bama, back-to-back weeks, man. I don't know what's going on. After Vanderbilt lost and barely surviving in South Carolina this past week. That was oh, well, South Carolina defense is legit. That nigga number five, I don't know who that edge rusher is. He's a true freshman. That edge rusher for freshman. South Carolina, he's a, that nigga he's a is a true, true deal. That nigga was coming off the he edge. Was a, he, he was a number. He was he a, gonna play on Sunday. He was a number three. He was <laughs> a number three. He was a number three overall ESPN top three hundred. He was a number three player as a fucking edge rusher. That's that like is. unheard of. And hey. top three and the top ten, those are all like damn like skill receiver positions. players. Yeah, yeah, receivers, running backs, and quarterback. And sometimes old lineman, but as an edge rusher. You was the number three overall Texas, athlete in the top 300. Texas beat yeah, the fuck legit. out of Oklahoma in a red uh, robbery game. They, they had the best transfer class. Texas has the number one defense this year. Only giving up like 200-something yards per game. 260-something, I believe. Oregon is legit. Texas is legit. Oregon is finally legit. With that win over Ohio State, they showed me something. Because the, what they were struggling with at the beginning of this year, but I felt like it was Dylan Gabriel still getting adjusted to the team. You know, he didn't play for a new college team every year and shit. So it's just like, that was, it's some other team though. LSU receiver. No, Penn State barely survived in uh, the uh, Coliseum against USC. They do this shit every year. And, you know, they was one of our shorts of a week ago. So they barely survived. It would have been funny. Like, if we would have had that short. And they would have lost. Like, that shit would have been funny, bro. Yeah, it's, it's some niggas who commented on our uh, shit. They was like, let's see how this ages. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. For real, for real. Yeah, let's see. It's still a long season. Shit. Uh, Miami, they still doing their thing. That's they coming off the box. That's rules of California. Hey, man, they got it done. It's all right. It's all right. Well, it's all right. It's going to be them and Clemson in the ACC championship. That's going to show me what Miami really, really talking about when they go play them in the ACC championship. Oh, a couple other teams. It's probably going to be Texas and Oregon, bro. The way it's looking. Texas is definitely beating Georgia this week. I I, I see it happening. Yeah, I don't That's going to be a lit ass game. Where is it? What? Austin. It's in, it's in Texas. Oh, in Austin. That stadium going to be <laughs> yeah, loud as bro, fuck. Bro, what? Uh, Georgia is crazy. one and four all the time. Uh, Kirby Smart and uh, Georgia Bulldogs, one and four all the time against uh, Texas. All so right, long. stop trying to give out betting advice. You know what I'm saying? All right. Just, no one's trying to hear that. Huh? But what? Talking to that mic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I saw that. No, but it, it wasn't. It was a misunderstanding. But, yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. Though. I saw that. He, I told he came y'all out press conference for Texas, about Quinn Ewers was going to come back and they was going to do what they did like they never left. You know, shout out but to the, Art. But he, the fact that if anything goes wrong, they can just insert another five-star All-American But, see, that's what I'm saying. We want to slowly bring him in and then slowly bring him out, Paul. Like, we want to get him adjusted and warmed up. to. You don't want to just throw a nigga in there, bro. Like you got to what you do. Throw him in that water, man. See if he's yeah, gonna he's sink ready. or swim. He he's threw, ready. He threw him in the water for two and games. And he swam for two games. And he swam. Next year, when it's time, you'll get your you get your. He'll really be ready to go. But see, Texas, that shit like Texas schools just do it different. Hey man, how the fuck y'all spend two hundred fifty million on a high school? What high school is that? It's a new high school in Texas that's finna get opened up, bro. When I was playing, that's and I want I want this video I want this video clipped of it short when when I was playing. But it's a new high school that's two hundred million dollars. But when school. I was playing, nigga, Kyler Murray High School, he had took them niggas to state three times, forty two and zero, never lost a game in high school, Damn. and got them that million dollar stadium in Allen, Texas. And go look at all the viewers. Go Google Allen High School Stadium, like in Texas. That shit is huge, bro. Like when Kyler Murray won that Gatorade Player of the Year, and they went and built that stadium. That nigga, bro, like bro, that's bro, a different that's level. Probably one. the greatest high school athlete of all time, for sure. In Texas, for sure. You, you, you gotta remember, he was also ranked in baseball too. 
as a high school. But no, y'all said it. Throw a nigga in the fire. I like how y'all said throw a nigga in the fire. How Kyler started his career in high school. He started sophomore year, came in for somebody injured and just never lost. Like, never. That's That was insane, bro. That's lit. And the teams That's Kyler was beating, it, they was from the Dallas, like, Fort Worth area. The teams they was beating from the Houston area, they yeah, weren't no, no chumps. No they slouch. Was, they was really beating some teams, bro. But Allen had a lot of niggas that went to the league in the NFL. I bet. The Million Dollar Stadium, you better have some product. You better got to have some niggas that do what they do. Go mm. to the league. Uh, but $1 million dollar stadium versus two fifty. dollars I, can I don't know imagine. if it's $1 million. I said it's a million dollars. I just don't know how much exactly. I was about to say, we got to compare the size. And I don't think it was a $250 million dollar stadium. I think they built a $250 million school. facility. Yeah. It's a school. That's yeah. $250 million. Dollars. They're building yeah. a whole school. Okay. It's like... Bro, this shit's crazy. It looks like a college campus. But it's nothing but land out there in Texas. That stuff doesn't surprise me and everything. And then, like, with all them people going to one school, like, yeah, that changed that shit up. It is so much land out there. I seen this dude selling land out there. Like, you could just buy a plot of land and then go build a house on that shit. Mm -hmm. We got to go on YouTube and figure out how to build a house, bro. A nigga took a bus out there, made it a two-story house. I'm so serious. Time lapse. Made it luxury and everything. It's Marble crazy. countertops. It's crazy what people... Nigga got um figure out they know what they can do. What's that shit called, Bryson? Um Starlink. He got the Starlink Wi Fi from Tesla. He got the solar panels on the roof. He doesn't have no power bill and his shit runs all day. Yeah. That shit I uh, uh, when people be doing these crazy ass shit, I be seeing on TikTok. I just be asking myself, like, bro, how did you get to the point to know that you can do this? Bro. Like, like where was you at bro. in life when you like I'm talking about he's he's making insulation. He made his cabinets. He made his couch. And he's measuring all these things so they'll fit in the bus. He added windows to the bus. Like, That's this is all shit like, like your creativity is just out of the park. But now he has a whole two-story house and zero net bills. Yeah. That's crazy. Off the grid. And, like, bruh, think about how much money we spend in a month. He was like, he was like, think about how much money you spend in a month on bills. He was like, I don't have to worry about that. He was like, the, me not having that stress lets me live at peace. Yeah, the government's going to shut us down. <laughs> it's over with. It's over, it's over son. Yeah. You, you had your fun. Yeah. No, nah, I don't know. He white. Yeah, it's still over she with. She can go either way with that, man. He not too, he not too crazy and too radical, but he's just out there free. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah. Y'all not trying to go live like that? I'm trying to get on one of these Mr. Beast challenges, man. Hell no. Nah. Oh, Find out you ain't me. eating or sleeping. That shit is all. And what if you don't get the money? Go... For real? I want to be going on. You didn't see the scandal? I know you love Mr. Beast. You didn't see the scandal that dropped about him not paying people and they all be like people that he already knew and actors and stuff like that. Yeah, I can see that. He just, so he really gonna be paying them niggas? I just want to do like a wipeout challenge, no. like one of those wipeout challenges I've seen. Like that shit look cool, like when you had AMP on yeah, that yeah. shit and shit. But it's like I'm scared of heights, nigga. I ain't falling eighty feet in the water. I'm nah, just scared. But it it was one where he was like, "We're going, to, we're going to go to the store. I'm gonna draw this big ass circle. Everything you can fit in the circle, I buy." I'm like nigga, what? He took a nigga. Joey took one nigga like Sam's Club, like Costco or some shit. He went straight to the electronic section. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm getting an 85 <laughs> Samsung QLED. I only got nothing but 70 and 80 inches. The and AI, bro. Troy, Troy, Troy. One, two, three. One. That's 10,000. flipping these bitches. That's 20,000. We're 20, stacking these TVs. That's 30. <laughs> That's 30. 40. Go get a cart. You go get a cart. I go get a cart. Nothing under 60 inches TV. No, no so nothing what? under 80 inches. What do you mean? We need iPhones, iPads, and TVs iPads, Apple headphones, Mac storage, <laughs> Mac storage, PS5, <laughs> Pro Max is no P5 is dead in the water. I'm not gonna lie, everybody got one now. I'm just saying to sell them bitches, bro, for the low. I know. Well, no, I'm not trying to sell it for the low. I want to sell it for the high, the max, the Shit. premium. Where do bitches go? You, you ain't gonna get in that 85 Samsung, 85 inch Samsung TV QLED and be like, yeah, let me get a discount. Yeah, sorry, this bitch bigger than the room. That Samsung curve, motherfucker. That hold the truth. Bro, they got, they got it's one like a, It's like a 50 inch right here. 50, 60 inch? It's like 55, definitely. But they got one now. It's like a painting. They got a Samsung TV. It's 80 inches. It's a painting. It's this thin. Put it on your wall like a painting. That's crazy. Shit. Y'all seen the new technology with the Tesla? The new Tesla robots? 
They turned this bitch into our robot. Bro, literally, bro. And this shit was answering questions and, and between the van, the bus.